Yo, what is going on? So I put the basic basic to Tekken Pro video out and that has like 8,000 views. That is crazy. I had an extra 500 subscribers just from it in a day or two days, I'll say. Like, I'm very, very humbled. Thank you very much for everyone that's tuned in. Um, again, the reason why, main reason behind this is because there is no tutorial mode in the game and there's not much talking about frames either and it's the game like Tekken is it's got a long learning curve and I believe it's real hard for someone to just jump into the game you lot are going into rank and you're frustrated because you don't know how to get better you don't know how to improve and stuff like that so I've gone one step by doing the Tekken to Tekken uh, no, the basic to Tekken Pro video but I'm also gonna go another step now I know a lot of people play Street Fighter. You you obviously know I'm a Street Fighter player, you, you know about Birdie, you've probably heard about me using Birdie and stuff like that as well. Regardless of whether you have or you haven't, and you're a Street Fighter player, this tutorial is for you. So what we're going to get into is, we're going to use certain terminologies from Street Fighter and we're going to put it into this tutorial so you guys are more clear on how to play this game and it will get you up to date very, 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 very quickly. So, Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 7. You heard it. You heard it from the announcer. Welcome, man. Let's go. So, we're going to pick. Let's say we'll pick Kazuya. Kazuya yeah? Mishima. We're going to pick Kazuya. Hey, up, This Hachi is what's going on. Get ready for the next battle. battle. Alright, cool. So, people heard of crush counters, people have heard of punishment, you lot have heard of all of these things. Alright, cool. We're going to get into it for you. Alright, so, first things first. I advise you, if you haven't watched my basic to pro video, I advise you to watch that now because that's that tells you all about movements and stuff like that. This is your next step now. Alright, so, we're going to go to a re restart now. For most people that play Street Fighter, you know you get high, you got mid, you got low, yeah? You know about that. In Street Fighter, if, if most of the time when people duck, they could do an overhead, right? That's what works. Now, let me show you something. Whoops, we don't want to return to main menu. We want you to, uh, we want you to crouch guard. Mid still hit you if you crouch guard, yeah? You know in, in Street Fighter, if someone does like, I don't know, a mid kick or something like that, if someone does like a mid kick, I don't even know, does Kazuya have a mid kick? Oh yeah, he has this. Most of the time, well not even most, all the time they can block. This is in a lot of 2D fighting games, you can block if you just block around like this, like, yeah? You know this, you can't do that in Tekken, yeah? If you stand guard, it blocks and covers mids and high, like every other fighting game. If you, if you block, crouch block, it's, the mid's gonna hit you, now that's, that's, that's that done. Now. Another thing is you don't want to be crouch guarding against the wall because a lot of people have moves that will wall splat me. That's another thing. So most of the time against the wall, I advise you to stand up. Yeah? This you don't want this to happen because big combos like this will just be like, look, that's your half your bar, that's most of your bar gone. Don't you don't need that drama in your life. So make sure you stand make sure you stand guard. So on top of that now, we want to talk about certain things like buttons and how to learn the combo, like how to learn the combo. So one, two, let me just show you the notation screen actually. I'll just show you better than I could tell you. So this is the notation screen. I, I did show it in the last the last video, but I'll show it in this one. Up, up, back, back, down, back, down, down, forward, forward, up, forward. Yeah? One is uh, square. If you've got PS4, one is square, two is triangle. Three is a uh, uh, kick or cross, and circle is four. Now, these notations are, they represent left punch, right punch, left kick, right kick. So one, two, three, four, as shown on the notation. Now, you also have sidestep. Now, you lot are familiar that this is a 3D game. To sidestep, you double tap down. I'll show you on the, no um, the display, display settings. 
If that has it here, yeah, sure, it should do. Okay, so this is the display history now, yeah? Alright, cool, so here we go, let's go into it. So, if I want to do sidestep, be double down, double up, double down, double up. Now, if I want to sidewalk, you hold it. Now, why would you want to sidewalk? Sidewalking is usually if you want to get past certain moves, or if you want to get out of a certain situation, the sidewalk. But you can't block it, the situation. Once you sidewalk or committed to a sidestep, you can't block. Unless you cancel it like that. Now, sometimes when I when I play, I usually sidestep like that and, and just cancel it. So, when you're cancelling a sidestep, it's holding back like that. So if you have the full animation, you see him move like that, swaying his head like that, yeah? So you can sidestep cancel as well. Sidestep. Like it's one of the easier ways to do backdash cancel anyways, that, that I found before doing backdash Korean backdash cancel. Now, side, you sidestep most of the time for moves. So if someone's weaker on the weaker side, you usually sidestep that way. So or that, but that's something, down the lines of when you're learning like how to do again how to do against moves if you take the game serious and you want to see basically go in practice mode and look at certain moves that you feel is sidesteppable or you feel like you can get around maybe either by ducking or maybe doing a power crush now i already explained power crush in the last video so power crush is pretty much an armor move it's like in street fighter 5 you know you've got like birdie has a forward hard punch which he goes it absorbs one hit power crush absorbs multiples of hits now i'm going to record hey actually doing a free hit move uh, wait a second. yeah so that's how you actually doing that now let's play yeah now in this game your health doesn't recover it's the trade and now let me tell you why this is good now i'll make sure that you understand why this is good so let's do this again you can he's not even is he doing it so this resets the situation and look at the space between you two Imagine if someone's just pressing buttons in, in your face and you're just like, oh, raw, like, he's pressing loads of buttons in my face. I need to get out of this situation. Power crush. Pa most power crushes, I don't think even any power crushes are armored from frame one. I don't know much about, like, in terms of frames of when most of them start up. Not everyone has the same power crush move as well. Um, some, of their, some of their frames start up later, some of their frames start up early. Uh, you could look at the Tekken Chicken app by Nick. So that's that's currently on the android android it's not on ios as of yet i'll leave a link down below so you don't know where to download it for frames and stuff like that for the people that want to take it serious so yeah so you're stuck in this situation where this guy is just pressing button in your face you could do that but it has to be a, in a way that hold on the fall let me go to, let me go to the wall uh switch positions on i need this guy to hurry up and do it all right hold on Again. You get count here on the first one. See? Switch your position. Now you can get out of the corner. Yeah? So you can get out of the corner out of the pressure. So that's a good thing. Now, in terms of punishment now, now again this is this is a thing of like you'd have to be knowing the frames and certain things. But I will show you certain things that are pretty much obvious. Uh, let's go to stand guard. Now I kind of want to change it. Alright, let me see. I think his first one staggers. Alright, let me see. So, if I remember correctly, this one should stagger. Yeah. So when it staggers like that, that means you could do a move. Maybe a hot kick. A hot kick. Oh, the whoops! That was the worst one. See, it says punish. Now this is the this is the good thing about the game now. Now it doesn't say it in the game. Sorry, it doesn't say punish in the game. So you can't really learn it like that. But in, in practice mode, it says punish. Let me switch back to positions. Oh, no, on. Oh, off. 
So, with Kazuya, you could do Wild Rising 2. It all depends on your character and what they could do. Now, the reason why I've put this in is because Crush Counter works in the same type of format. If it's that, you know, they do a special move, you blocked it, or you baited out a move, whatever. Punish. This is your time to go in with the damage. So, look. I block something like this. As soon as you see the stagger, like a stagger like this, look, but they kind of go like that and they kind of, they can't do the rest of their move. Usually that means you could do a wild standing move that launches them. So, boom. Boom, 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 boom. And then whatever else afterwards. Big damage, it takes off life. It makes them think about their life and not do risky things like that again. Yeah, so these are key things that you need to look out for. In terms of like, combos and stuff like that they're all here all the combos are here but you, what you do is you go to move list of your character and you go to the bottom look at sample combo one to five now these ain't the only combos for the characters you can you can optimize your up to optimize your combos the best way possible by just going to practice mode and doing whatever moves works in the combo so i'm going to show you i'll show you one of them so that's a rage art combo i'll get into that in a bit You see how I say, there's combos there. The combo I did is not in that sample combo. So that, that goes to show that there are combos out there that you can do and you can learn. Um, there's people out there that do combo videos all the time. Best thing to do, YouTube is your you, is your pal. You know, so go on YouTube, you know, maybe type in, if I was a Kazuya character, uh, Gigas or Lucky Chloe, and I don't know any of the Lucky Chloe combos. I'll go to sample combos, have a look at them. If there's more combos I want to learn and I want the highest damage combos, optimal combos, all of those things, YouTube, Lucky Chloe, combo video. Stuff like that is how you learn. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And there's other moves with the characters that are punishable. But again, I can't go through all of Heiachi's moves, all of Lucky Chloe's moves, all of Shaheen's moves and then say, oh yeah, this one's punishable, this one isn't. The video's going to be hella boring and you lot are not going to have any fun with it. So I could try to make it as short as possible, but kind of get you a lot fast on track to like where most of the intermediate advanced players are. So again, like I said, that's for just like low, low, like low block moves, and when they stagger, a lot of characters have it. But you, you will learn when you take it practice mode. You see a move and you block it, and it low staggers like that. Let's show you again. When it staggers like that, you can launch. I'm not good at doing that. I'll be honest. I'm not good at doing it. I'll just do I'll set up for the easier one, which is this. Or you could do hot, delayed hot kick. Yeah, so that's that done. Another thing now, so we got rage arts and rage drives in the game. Now rage arts and rage drives, well let me show you this, let me show you this. Alright, so opponent, the player's rage. Okay, so this happens where your 25% health is left. Or just just underneath that 25 percent or just underneath and it lasts until when you die or when you use rage arts or rage drives now your sacrifice rage arts rage when you're in rage yeah, it does more damage but when you do a rage art or a rage drive it disappears now what is a rage art rage art is like equivalent to what street fighter have which is a super so in street fighter you have you get a gauge cool you could do a super yeah that's how it works cool this is once your health is 25 percent you've got you you get more damage or you can sacrifice all of that and you still have your health but when you sacrifice it you could do like a super move so example i'll just show you i'll just show you it well you press you press whatever the commandment is or you could combine it like this i'll show you how to combine it so you go into control setup and you could you could just set your rage arts to just pressing R1. I do it that way. I think it's a lot more easier. Um, you don't have to remember what the commandments is. If you're a new player, you don't have to remember the commandments. Just a lot more easier. So, yeah, there's that. Now most people do it in I do it in combos to be honest. Or I do it if I punish someone. So, say for example, let's start that. Let's do it again. Oh, you can't even do it like that. Okay.
I don't even think he could do that. Oh, uh, yeah. You can't do it by pressing R1. That's insane. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Harada, please. You can't do it by pressing R1. I'm, I Look. I, it's, not, it's not working. I have to do it this way, which is the... Which is the way I do it, which is down forward uh, 1 plus 2, so... Yeah, the... Maybe you're better off just pressing that. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know about that one. That one's a bit crazy. So... You can punish moves like that, or... You can do them in a combo. I'll show you a simple combo. Not that one. Not that one either, sorry. Whoops. Dash up. I don't know if this will hit. It should do. Yeah. So, you know, stuff like that is stylish. I want to see stylish stuff like that. I think that's sick. And you can do it against the wall as well. Look. I don't know if this will work. It will hit them on the, on the way down. Yeah. So you have to kind of like, it has to be in a good way in it. So, say for example, if I done wall splat. So, Kazuya's wall splat is forward two. I could do this. Sometimes it leaves them in a good position as well. Look, he's right he's right in front of me. Back against the wall again. So it leaves me to apply a lot more aggression as well. So I think that's pretty cool. Now, on to Rage Drives. Now, Rage Drives advantage changes the condition of a match. In terms of like, Gigas has a thing where he walks forward and you have to block a mid or a high. You can parry it and stuff like that. But it's changed the condition of just you lot play, playing like a free roam fight. Now, this... Kazuya's one is different. Kazuya could do his one in a combo. Most characters can do their one in a combo. Most of them have um, a lot of plus frames, so that means don't press buttons. Just block, either block it and move back, um, or just try and get out. Just try and get out of being like opposed to that aggression. So Kazuya's one is this one here. Now you can't combine it with any buttons, unfortunately. You literally have to do what it is. So he's got his forward crouch dash, uh, one and four, and then hold up together, just like that. Now you could do this at a combo. Uh, uh, what? Let me do it basically. Yeah. Let me do it in a basic way. I don't know why that's not working. Yeah, please get better, King J. Please get better. Right, hold on. I don't know why it's not working, it's just because I'm nervous. I'm nervous. There we go. Sorry, I don't know what was going on. <laughs> so that's how you do it in a combo. Uh, majority of them you can do in a combo. Some characters you can't do rage drives in a combo. Like, Gigas can't do it in a combo whatsoever. Uh, probably why he's one of the bottom characters in the game. No, I'm joking. There's other reasons, but yeah. It's not a hero there, so there's that as well. So what other things are there that I could teach you? So you've got thing called you got things called strings as well. So strings are like pretty much you could either continue on in the combo. They're like kind of like you know in target combos like you know Barog has his um, he has his medium punch. No, he has his light punch, medium punch, and then that one that three hits. You could it's the same as this, but the difference with this is that you some of them some of them you could delay like this. So you, I could either delay it just in case someone press like the opponent presses a button so you could catch them out of a hit or you could just do it full but most of the time if you do it full like a target combo in Street Fighter it leaves you punishable so sometimes it's best not to do it sometimes if you feel like the person's gonna press buttons yeah just throw it out because you feel like you're gonna press a button it's a bit of a risk. Now, why why are these type of stuff good? Um, strings are good because again you can catch people out. Uh, it also adds to your your gameplay, so you could just do that. And then just just try and annoy people, innit? Once you annoy people by doing things, you can then open them up to do launches. So launches are things like this. Once you launch someone up in the air, that's your time. That's your that's your goal time to do combos. And then you could do damage. So, well, that's pretty cool. In terms of grabs, in Street Fighter, you would you would press grab back to throw break, or if they do command grab, you can't break them. In this game, it's not like that. Even command grabs can be broken, so don't worry about that. So, let's set. 
Let's set uh, Heiachi to grab me. Okay, cool. So he's he's grabbing me now, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna set this up. So you could either press one. See, one one or two will break it. You can see it in the bottom bit. Just one or two will break it. Get off me, yeah. It's not hard at all. Now this is where part way gets a bit tricky now. So the command grab moves. Majority of the characters is one plus two. Now there's exceptions like King. King has a lot of throws which are difficult to break because. His other throws require either one or two, and it all depends on what what throw he does. So it's a bit hard. Again, you'd have to know. You would have to kind of know what moves he's gonna buffer up in most. I'll get into that at a later date in terms of how to break King's more like multiple throws and throws. But now I want to keep it as, as basic as sim and simple as possible. So this is Hiyachi's uh, one plus two throw. Yeah. Now the way how you can change that. Let me show you how to break it. So, first off, not like that. I don't know why I stopped breaking it. Is my buttons not combined? Hold on. Okay, yeah, my buttons are not combined. No wonder. Alright, <laughs> sorry, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I knew there was something wrong. Alright, so. One plus two, yeah? One plus two. Now, how could you tell if they're doing a 1 plus 2 throw? Now, I'm going to show you like this. So, my body's sideways, yeah? Usually, when they grab you, they're like this. Or, when they do a 1 plus 2 throw, it's back stiff like this. Look at like that. They go, yeah? The other ones, they're like, they come over, they lean their body forward on one side, or they lean their body forward on the other side. Now, I'm going to show you what that means. Now, look. Back stiff, yeah? Back stiff. He's not leaning his body towards you, yeah. Look, it's gonna show you again. See? Now, when you show, when you saw his other throw, when you saw his other throw, he's doing. See, his body's leaning towards. He's, le he's leaning, yeah. And then, I don't know why it's not working. Yeah, see, he's leaning his body towards you. The other one is back stiff. That's both hands together. But yeah, that's the best way to tell you. Or the other way you can say is their arms are underneath like that, or the other ones are underneath like that. When they do it like that, their arms are together. That, there's, that's the best way to tell tell each throw, to be honest. Look, both arms are together, one's underneath. <laughs> like, there's there's ways to... Do you know what I mean? So, that's the way how to throw break. The basic way and easy way to throw break. Again, combos, I've taught you like how to do combos. What other things are there? Um, there's a get up tutorial um, coming soon as well. I think that's going to be coming out in a, over a few days. I think that's it. Backdash cancel. I don't know if you lot know how to backdash cancel or watch my last video, but backdash cancel is back, back, down, back. So how do you do this and how do you master it very quickly? Because I, I know the game is getting hard and I know you lot want to be in the online ranks and be near the top. So how do you backdash cancel? So it's back, back, down, back, yeah? Back, back, down, back. You're, so what you're doing is you're canceling your backdash. So back, back. So if you done back back like this, look, man, you're not going nowhere. Against a guy that's gonna be wave dashing in your face like this, you're gonna be like, whoa, like ugh, I don't know what to do. You're gonna freeze up. So the best way to learn is back dash cancel like that. Just do it like that. Just do it like that. Back dash, back back down back. Just do it like that until when you're able to kind of like cancel it. And then the way how you cancel it is is by you seeing the back dash, the down, just is not there. It's not existent. Do you know what I mean? Or if worst comes to worst and you really want to try it, just yeah, just do that. One, two, three. And then just come close to him. I no, I don't get it perfect all the time. You know what I mean? But it's the it's the best way, to, it's the best method that I could teach. Do you know what I mean? Like that. Just do it twice until you can do it three times. And then just keep on going. Because that's the best way to kind of maneuver around the stage. You you don't wanna be like getting pressured by anything and then obviously to ah that's what i have not taught you lot as well so you can run by pressing double tapping free like this and then you get like either a, a kind of tackle 
but when you tackle you can do punches afterwards so the kazoo will do a tackle one i could press one 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 yeah or i could do two 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 yeah or you could mix it up you could be like one one i think you could do one one two two let me see one one two two yeah like that yeah now how do you break that you just press one plus two so he actually record yeah uh so let's get into that make him run into me oh whoops <laughs> restart that let's go Yeah, so let me let, let me get him to break it. Go on. Is it not one plus two? I'm sure it's one plus two. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> but, but I don't know what I'm doing. Sorry, 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 sorry. Bye, bye. There we go. One plus two to do that one, and you switch them over, and you could do your one, or you could press. I'm sure you could do it either. Is it two? Because I think I pressed the button. Hold on. Oh, oh, that's weird. I'm sure, it's one plus two. Yeah, one plus two. Yeah, it's because I pressed it early. There we go. It's because I pressed it one plus two early. It's one plus two, hundred percent. There we go. But you, I've, I've had to hammer one plus two down if I'm honest. And that's another thing as well. You have a running barge if you if you run far if you run far enough. So I recall that now actually. Now the running barge used to be unblockable. <laughs> it used to be unblockable. Imagine that. Like it used to be unblockable. Yeah, but now it's just got armor. That's all it is. And I think I respect that. I think that's really good because them unblockable ones were stupid. But you can actually block this now. Yeah, you can block it. it. Just it makes you just go into like a kind of like a stumble state. But you can still block it. Now, whoops! I didn't want to do that. Another thing I want to show you guys is the pressure game of a lot of things. So, the pressure game of a lot of stuff is doing running free. So you can do running free like this. See, does that block kind of stumble, which is quite cool. Now the reason why that's good is because when you block stumble, it's your, it's pretty much your game and his game because you can press a button too. But you could do a low like this. Doing it that close requires. It, it, it's. I ain't gonna lie. That's it's double tap free, but. I've been playing this game for quite some time, so you ain't, it's, I wouldn't, you could learn that later day, innit? But, double tap it free like this. You could do a low, or you could do a grab. Obviously, pro break is easy in this game, but, mix it up. Or you could just do, do it again. Because they might want to try and press a button. Low. Or do an armor break move if you think they're going to press a button. But just be careful about armor break moves because most of them, well, I think all of them are, um, they're, they're punishable. So, I think other than that, I think I've told you lot everything that you lot need to know. If there's anything else you lot need to know, please let me know. Leave a comment down below. Not everyone can wave dash, by the way. So if you see me wave dashing with these characters, not everyone can wave dash. It's only Kazuya Bruce. No, <laughs> Kazuya Bruce. Kazuya Bob. Heiachi. Jin. King has a wave dash, but it's not the same. Uh, Devil Jin, Normal Jin. Um, I think that's it. I don't know if there's anyone else that could wave dash. To be honest, I think that's it. The Mashimas and that uh, Kazumi can't wave dash. She never got that. I don't think so. Anyway. Yeah, she can't wave dash. So that's it, guys. If you guys need anything else you want to want me to teach you, let me know. Leave a comment down below. But this is my Street Fighter guide. Street Fighter player meets Tekken 7. 
guide anything else that you need please leave a comment down below and if you need any help street fire players please press that subscription button obviously birdie birdie's waiting all you players in it birdie's waiting all you players so yeah please if you guys want to get involved and you guys take a players or well, street fire players you've got to get involved any type of help you lot need yeah man just leave a comment down there man um i think that's it i've pretty much told you lot <laughs> all, everything that i can think of in terms of trying to be a basic player um yeah that's it take it easy guys man peace